to Automotive One, your automotive channel number one. 2018 Lincoln Navigator L Black Label 4x4. The new Navigator reorders the American full estimate SUV chain of command. For a great part of the 20th century, the Cadillac versus Lincoln thing made a difference. It had important well past quarterly income in the car business. For some, it was about national pride. Today, no one truly minds. For a really long time, that competition has been a battle for a last place. It resembles the Bengals Browns diversion. There are a couple of stalwarts as yet sitting in the stands, however America has blocked out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the clock. One here inside the 2018 Navigator's exhaustively updated inside, especially that of our knee in addition to ultra black label case, demonstrates this isn't identification designing the same old thing. Lincoln gives off an impression of being attempting like it minds once more. What's more, Cadillac knows it, declining to make an Escalade accessible for a correlation test. The Navigator isn't only the biggest, most extravagant, and most intense Lincoln ever, it conveys what an American extravagance vehicle ought to these days, in the market fragment where extravagance purchasers have assembled. Furthermore, Lincoln charges for the benefit. With just a couple of alternatives, including a backseat amusement framework, our Navigator L Black Label 4x4 test vehicle cost $101,765. Formed with limitation, the Navigator's lines are perfect and its outside chrome bits are elegantly connected, beginning with the recessed grille that is expansive however relative to the vehicle. The grille's plan is well known from Lincoln's MKZ and Continental, similar to its mesh, which includes an example of Lincoln's star logo, eats up an adjustment of the insignia utilized on the Continental Mark II in the mid-1950s. The bigger star in the grille's middle lights up, which is a little finished the best and subordinate of Mercedes-Benz, yet it's an appreciated shot of spirit. The Lincoln's level taillights include visual width. Tragically, its fumes is escaped see under the back guard on the traveler's side, similarly as it is on the Ford Expedition. This might be a planned decision or a cost-cutting measure. In any case, it's an open door for the reseller's exchange, this thing asks for two or three substantial chrome deplete channels. At 221.9 inches in length, the Navigator L is as yet a couple of inches shorter than the Escalade ESV yet stop it alongside a Mercedes GLS or Land Rover Range Rover and it predominates the Europeans. Its long, smooth flanks emulate the look of the Navigator idea that stole the 2016 New York Automobile Fair. The idea's downplate badging, passed out columns, and turbine style wheels additionally made the cut. In spite of the fact that its enormous skull wheel and true ways, which wowed indicate goers and featured the idea's amazing inside, did not. A great part of the Navigator has been culled from the parts canister. Substantial pieces of its aluminum body, which link in plain spares nearly 200 pounds over the 2017 model, are taken from the expedition. On our scales, however, the contrast between our black label analyzer and the 2016 Navigator L 4x4 added up to only 31 pounds. The front of the steel stepping stool outline is like that of the Expedition and F-150 pickup. The back of the edge and the outline of the Navigator's free multi-link raised suspension are imparted to the previous, and they're basically unaltered from a year ago's model. Cadillac's Escalade still uses a strong back hub, much the same as a 1967 Chevy C10. Under the Gator's hood is the Ford F-150 Raptor's twin turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 and 10-speed programmed transmission. As in the Pecan, this motor makes 450 pull at 5,000 revolutions per minute and 510 pounds to foot of torque at 3,500 revolutions per minute, which shades the yield of the Caddy's 420 horsepower 6.2-liter V8. With EPA appraisals of 16 miles per gallon city and 21 miles per gallon expressway, the Lincoln is likewise more fuel effective than previously. Influencing liberal utilization of its non-intrusive stop, to begin framework, we found the middle value of 15 miles per gallon amid two weeks of blended driving around Los Angeles. The V6 is smooth and refined and fires with a gentle grade. A solid base and punch into 5,900 revolution per minute redline make it an ideal counterpart for a 10-speed program, a unit designed and worked in a Ford, GM organization. Its writing computer programs is right on target in the Navigator. 
hard throttle gear changes are tight and smart, and the transmission dependably is by all accounts in the correct apparatus at the ideal time. We favor Caddy's V8 Troll, yet the Lincoln's V6 has a satisfying, profound verbal. What's more, you can hear it inside a large, yet simply because Lincoln funnels it in through the speakers. There's more chrome inside the Navigator than out and more punctured cash skin than we've at any point found in one place. The main event and columns are canvassed in yards and yards of false sofa and cowhide, and the immense front and back consoles exhibit a variety of wood, piano dark trim, bright work, and knurled handles. Indeed, even the dash-mounted push catch shifter is trimmed with chrome, just like the stopping brake and motor begin catches. What's more, this isn't an instance of basically layering better materials over expedition bits, the navigator's inside is astonishingly separated from the Fords, with a totally extraordinary dash and focus comfort configuration, adapt selector, and even link in particular turn flag and wiper stalks. The checks and infotainment game plan are navigator particular, as well, a configurable 12.0-inch screen shows the rich instrumentation, and a 10.0-inch touchscreen on the dashboard handles the infotainment and route obligations. The highlights list appears to be perpetual but then standard for the fragment, from ray sound controls and locally available Wi-Fi to a 360-degree camera setup. There are additionally lit up, control working running sheets, a warm directing wheel, control collapsing second and third columns, and a huge all-encompassing sunroof. Our truck's discretionary perfect position seating bundle offered 30-way modification, three warmth settings, three ventilation settings, and back rub for the front seats. The second push skipper's seats are not exactly as rich as the fronts, but rather they're warm, they lean back and they slide forward effectively to give access to the extensive third push seat that can situate the three. There are additionally cooling vents all through the main event and catches in the freight region that drop the second and third lines level for greatest load limit. All things considered, Lincoln could take a shot at improving things a bit. A couple of an excessive number of highlights and setting choices are covered in an ocean of menus between the truck's two screens. At 6,330 pounds, the Gator shouldn't be fast. However it is. Half throttle leaves activity for dead and handles most parkway passes effectively, as the transmission rushes to give you a couple of downshifts and a burst of intensity. Full throttle moves the heap back and unweights the front suspension, raising the truck's enormous nose noticeable all around like a 60s muscle auto. Upshifts are firmer now and appropriate on redline as the firmly separated apparatuses click off rapidly and the full measure SUV pushes past 100 miles per hour with little exertion. At the test track, the navigator created dramatization free dispatches in a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of only 5.5 seconds. That is an entire second faster than its ancestor and 0.3 seconds speedier than the last Escalade we tried. In 2016, a lighter standard length truck outfitted with an 8 speed program. Cadillac has since overhauled its SUV with a similar 10 speed found in the Navigator, which will no uncertainly help its dispatch times and its mileage numbers, as well. The Lincoln's quarter mile peak running of 14.2 seconds at 98 miles per hour is an AMG snappy yet is bound spry for a vehicle standing taller than 6 feet and measuring in excess of 3 tons. The Navigator's ride is imperiled by the black label standard 22 inch rollers. It isn't awkward, fundamentally, yet it's busier than it ought to be, with an excess of street interruption into the seat, pedals, and directing wheel. Thinking about the Lincoln's 131.6-inch wheelbase, we anticipated that the Navigator would coast easily finish the street, however it doesn't. It can't assist that, with the black label's 22 inches, each side of the truck conveys 93 pounds of haggle. The Range Rover and Mercedes-Benz GLS, and additionally extravagance cars, for example, the Porsche Panamera and Mercedes S-Class, complete the superior employment of confining you from the asphalt's niches and crevices. Body movements are all around controlled, yet extensive effects uncover the Navigator's truck-based roots. The SUV likewise experiences intermittent taxi shutter and shockingly capable of being heard moans from its slowed territory as its structure flexes. In normal mode, 
the link is controlling is dormant on focus, however it takes care of on the off chance that you change over to excite, which returns the transmission for more forceful gear holding and hardens the dampers. There's additionally a conserve mode to enable increment to fuel productivity, and there are settings to modify the all-wheel drive framework for dangerous surfaces and profound snow. Each is affirmed with a detailed realistic that immediately assumes control over the SUV's sizable instrumentation screen. Thank you for watching and don't subscribe this channel.